A Quarry Bomb House of Assembly has urged the state government to visit affected learning centers and implement necessary solutions to address the lack of toilet and water facilities in many public, pri primary and secondary schools. This follows an urgent public concern raised by Honorable Itoro Bank Etim, representing Uron State constituency regarding the underutilization of provisions in the Child Rights Act of 2008. Honorable Etim highlighted that female students, particularly during their monthly periods, face significant challenges expressing concern that the situation could lead to truancy among students who may leave the school compound in search of facilities. Aware that under the Arise agenda of His Excellency Pastor Mo in other administration, sound educational health sector management are key components. Further away that the child rights law seeks to, among other things, consider paramount the best interest of the child in all actions and that the child shall be given protection and care as is necessary for the well-being of the child. Concerned that many public schools within our state do not have public toilets and portable water, which is inimical to a healthy learning environment and goes contrary to the provision of the child rights law. Worried that this lack can cause preventable harm, like students, pupils leaving the school compound during school hours, looking for drinking water, conveniences to use, and may run into problems. And this may further cause outbreak of diseases. Further worried that students and pupils may also use the guise of convenience and test to loiter and break bounds, further promoting lawlessness. During deliberations, several members emphasized the importance of fully adhering to the tenets of the 2008 Child Rights Law. They underscored that the provision of toilet and water facilities is crucial not only for promoting hygiene, but also for combating tropical diseases. So I look at this motion very important for us to lend our voice. But it's important that we drum into the ears of the Ministry of Education to take it as a matter of urgent public importance that every school in Akwaibu State, whether it's a public school or private school, must be provided with toilet facilities to help combat neglected tropical diseases. Because where we allow it continuously, it's going to affect the life of our wards that we send to schools. A toilet in, in use now that prevents infection and spread of bacteria and all that is now called ring free toilet seat. So we could say let's provide toilet in every secondary school, every primary school, but yet the problem still remains because the vendor will not have a specific type of toilet that he is mandated to install. In his ruling, Speaker of the House, Right Honorable Udeme Otong, committed the motion to the House Committee on Education to embark on an inspection tour with the State Ministry of Education and report to the House during the next sitting. We've heard the motion. I therefore refer this motion to House Committee on Education to do the oversight and make sure things are done properly and report to this House in one month. Those in favor say aye. Those against say the aye shall The House thereafter proceeded on a five weeks vacation to reconvene on Tuesday, July 30th, 2024.